Today, I wanna to show you how to render sections and elevations without Illustrator. I'll walk you through an entire project in just a few simple steps. And even better, I'll do it in under 10 minutes. If you're wondering what software we're gonna be using, well, it's gonna be Rayon Design, of course. If you wanna follow along, there's a link down in the description so you can try it completely for free. The goal of today's video is to end up with a section or elevation that looks something like this. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on the left-hand iteration, which is an internal elevation of a kitchen and living dining space. So let me walk you through how you can do this exactly step-by-step. Step. First of all, we wanna start with our section cut and that's the internal walls. To get internal walls exactly like this, we just come down to the bottom to the wall tool and then you just draw a box. You finish it off by clicking the end, hit escape, and then we can select individual panels to make them wider or even narrower if we so choose. So by simply going into the thickness on the right hand side, we can type in 400, 50, 100, anything in between to change the composition of our walls. Now, I've shown you how to change the solid colors in previous tutorials, but it's all on the right hand panel if you ever need to change anything further than the default in Rayon. Now that we've created our generic shell of an internal section or elevation, then we need to start populating it with some bits and pieces. The next step for me is to document the windows, the ceilings, and the wall compositions. So for instance, this window here is a block. Most of this ceiling is 2D, and some of this wall is a combination of blocks and 2D. So if we turn that layer off, go to our blocks up the top, type in window under our libraries, we have a selection of different windows. Let's say we like this window 1000. So we click on family and we have a sectional side view of that window. Then all we need to do, drag, drop, and we have our window perfectly in our wall. We can adjust that up and down as we see fit or leave it if we're comfortable. The same premise applies with, the same premise applies to the block for the stamp of the timber frame. And then generally speaking, all of this is just 2D fill and 2D lines, which we can use our polyline down the bottom, click once, click twice to draw custom shapes, whatever we need. So in terms of the ceiling, it's relatively basic. We're just dropping a tiny bit of plasterboard down with some suspension rods to create two different soffits. One curtain reveal in the top, one bulkhead for what will soon become our kitchen. The next critical step for implementing this internal section and rendering it out is of course our cabinetry and our coverings. So for starters, we can use our zone tool to simply draw in a space that we're comfortable with, finish off the zone. I don't really need the zone name and the text, so I can delete that. And then we can just come to our fill texture. Maybe we want tiles, maybe we want a different pattern, maybe we like brick. Whatever we want, we can use the zone tool to create our starting point of our internal look and feel. When we're finished, hopefully we're gonna have something like this. We're gonna have our plasterboard, we're gonna have our tiles, we're gonna have our wood cabinetry, our stone tops and our laminates above and below for our cabinetry. Now, all of these have been utilized using the zone tool and literally just changing the texture and the hatch, repeating the process time and time again until you end up with something that you're happy with. Following along the layering trend, next we wanna implement our mechanical, our electrical, and our plumbing. So if we turn on our mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, you'll see we have some of our power points, our TV points over here on the left-hand wall. We've introduced our range hood above, and of course, our sink. Now, the sink is a block. It's simply in the block library, type in sink, and select your favorite one. Same with the faucet, whereas the range hood is a custom texture with a fill gradient over the top, and the power points are just 2D lines because, well, they're relatively simple. They're literally half a face here in Australia, so, you know, it's not too hard to draw them. What takes these internal elevations to the absolute next level is the level of detail. So the next step is to implement shadows and 2D lines. When we turn on our shadows and we turn on our details, you'll see we've annotated our openings for our cabinetry. So of course, the hinges at the highest point and the handle meeting in the middle, indicating that this left panel is going to open towards the range hood, the right panel is gonna open away and so on. We've done that for the overheads and we've done that for the base cabinetry. And then with our window on the left, we're assuming midday sun really high. So we create our shadow blocks that we can manipulate up and down as we see fit. These shadow blocks are simply polylines connected and then a fill added to them so that we can create shadows and depth. You don't have to use a zone for these shadows, but you can if you desire for whatever reason. Additionally, we have LED strip lighting under this cabinetry highlighted with a soft yellow glow. It's not annotated yet, but we'll get there, so stick around. 
Nevertheless, it does cast a perfect little shadow underneath above so that this cabinetry internal elevation starts to feel a bit more lifelike. Speaking of life, we need to actually add some life to it. So furniture and accessories is our next step. And if I turn this layer on, it seems like I've just jumped miles ahead. So let me break it down a little bit further. I'll turn the layer off, back to blocks, and we can simply just type in chair to see what kind of objects and chairs we have. So this vintage dining chair might be your preference over anything else. And all we need to do is drag and drop it into our rayon template, place it where we're happy, and then repeat the process for anything else. So for example, the hanging plants, we can just type in plant, view our indoor plant library, and then and we can use our hanging marble pot plant right here, scale it down to an appropriate size, make sure it's on the correct layout so it shows the top. And it's literally that simple. After a few clicks, after a few extras, and a few items added into your space, it will quickly look like this. Now, if you're thinking, why isn't this baseboard part of the cabinetry layer? Well, it's actually part of my TV unit that I need to send to the back. So we push it to the back layer, and now we see our dining table come through, our dining chairs, and everything in between. If you're used to using layerings, then rayon is super simple in that manner. You just have to think of things in front and behind of everything, and you can collage as much as your heart desires. So if once again, if I wanted that TV unit at the front for whatever reason, I just bring it to the front, undo, with Control Z, it pushes it back to the back. Finally, there's only a couple steps left to make this internal elevation really speak volumes. We need to annotate all of the information that we've put in because it's well and good to have a beautiful range hood depicted and some cabinetry, but if we don't detail it, who's gonna know how to build it? How are they gonna know what to build and what it actually is? So if I turn on my annotations layer, you can see the starting point of the annotations. Now, these are very generic annotations with limited detail, but it articulates my point. All of these are using the leader tool down the bottom, which you can either select leader or hit DR to automatically jump into leader mode. And to edit, you literally just double click and start typing things to change it. So for instance, if we wanted this to be matte white, fingerprint resistant, we just type it in, press OK, and it's automatically updated and done for us. Last but not least, we want to include our dimensions. So hit the dimension line, everything pops up because it's already done. However, in your instance, if you wanted to add dimensions, it's super, super simple. Let's turn off our dimensions layer, come down to the bottom to dimensions or DI, and then let's dimension this wall. Click once, click again, drag out, done, super simple. But what if you wanna do multiple dimensions? Well, the same principle applies. Let's delete that one, go to dimensions, make sure we toggle to chained, which you can either press the single toggle or just the D button. And then that way we can click once, click again, finish that, repeat and repeat until we're happy. Hit enter to finish off and we have all of our dimensions perfectly curated. Eventually by following the same process over and over again, you're gonna end up with all the dimensions you need for documentation and construction. Now let's say you didn't like the dimensions being black. Right click, select children in your layout. It will select all of our dimensions instantly. Then we can change our styles. So we just hover over edit style, change our text color. Let's say we want it red. And in seconds, all the dimensions on that layer have gone red instantly. Finally, we want to showcase our work, our series of documentation that we've completed in Rayon, or potentially just two pages that we've been talking about. With Rayon, you have so many ways to present your documentation. You can do it as a presentation slideshow, which we've talked about previously in the past and I won't get into. Otherwise, you can just simply go to the top three dots, export as image, PDF, DWG, DXF, or Rayon file, whatever you like. So if I literally just go export PDF and screen, it will automatically download my screen as a PDF. Alternatively, we can go to new canvas, paper canvas, set up a whole collage of different pages so that we can export them one by one in a typical PDF format. But again, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Stick around for the next rail tutorial of how to do that. That's all for me today, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. If you loved Rayon Design, there is a link in the description where you can try it completely free, follow along this tutorial, or any of my other Rayon Design video tutorials as well. But like I said, that is all from this how to render sections and elevations without Illustrator tutorial. Like always, I'll see you next week.